In this video, we'll be making an Arduino Mini from scratch. The procedure shown in this video can be used to make any Arduino boards for your custom project requirements. In this two-part video, I will show you how to burn bootloader onto a brand new Atmega 328 chip. And then we will test if the board is working properly by programming a test code. Here are the list of materials used in this video. You will need an Arduino Nano which will be used as a programmer. A USB to TTL converter module, here I am using CP2102 module. Some jumper wires, the homemade Arduino mini board made in my SMD soldering video. A quick recap, I applied the solder paste on PCB using stencil, placed the components and soldered using hot tab. Please follow the link in the description for detailed part list and circuit diagram. To make an Arduino from scratch, first we need to design the circuit board. I used the PCB files that I downloaded from Arduino website and modified it for my requirements. Then I ordered the circuit board from JLC PCB and bought the other parts from the local electronics market. The main point in making this video is to learn how to use the Atmega 328P AU chip as a standalone device for projects like wearable electronics, compact portable devices, etc. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They sent me a couple of PCBs and SMD stencil which helped me greatly in my projects. All I did was, I designed the PCB in Eagle software and exported the Gerber files and uploaded the files in their website. Later I reviewed my PCB and SMD stencil in their online Gerber viewer and made sure that everything is alright. Then I placed the order and it arrived within a week. The quality of PCB and SMD stencil is really good and I definitely recommend this manufacturer if you are looking for professional quality PCBs for very cheap prices. Connect the homemade Arduino mini board and Arduino Nano as shown here. Please refer the circuit diagram for details. It is not very important to use Arduino Nano, you may use any Arduino board that you have. After making all the connections, connect the Nano board to your computer. In Arduino IDE software, open the Arduino ISP sketch from the examples menu. Select the correct board, COM port and upload the sketch onto your Nano board. Now the Nano board will work as in-system programmer. Now go to tools menu and select Arduino as ISP programmer and click burn bootloader. This will take around 5 to 10 seconds and the software acknowledges as done burning bootloader and the LED on the new board starts blinking. After burning bootloader, connect the new board to the USB to TTL converter module. Refer the circuit diagram for details. We have to use this module every time to program this microcontroller and to communicate through USB. Any USB to TTL module like CP2102, CH340 or FTDI module can be used. I will upload the blink LED sketch to test if the new microcontroller is working properly. In the tools menu, select AVR ISP programmer and upload the code. Once the computer screen shows uploading, press the reset button as we have not connected the DTR pin to reset. The LED is blinking indicating that the microcontroller is working fine and this Arduino mini equivalent board can be used for your projects. Therefore we have learnt how to bootload a brand new Atmega 328P AU chip. Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe.